Uh, hello, it is, um, this is Archimedes Eisen here, back at it again, with, um, a video on what would happen if Beerus reincarnated into Naruto. Um, actually, like, really quiet, because I really want to get the effect out, but soon, like, maybe in five seconds, I should raise my voice. So, yeah. Uh, so, right before we start this video, like I said, um, check out Dead God, which will be in the link in the description below, or he will be in the link in the description below, and, uh, definitely go sub to him. It's not like he has 500 subs with no channel content whatsoever, you know. <laughs> definitely, uh, got more subs than me when I, you know, before I got 500. I only got 500, like, I think two months ago. <laughs> Never mind. So, yeah. Last time we left off, back when Naruto, Whis, Kakashi were heading out to uh, basically, um, you know, deal with, um, the, you know, the arising problem in the Mist Village. So once Naruto, Whis, and Kakashi would run out the village, they would then proceed to maybe run for the next two hours. It, would, it wouldn't have been that bad since for a few minutes I did use Whis's portals here and there, and it did get them pretty far. Even though they could just uh, use their portal all the way to the um, Mist Village, but Naruto wanted uh, to run instead. He didn't feel like, um, you know, he felt like he was too good to even use a portal to easily get there. So pretty much, uh, once they would get to um, maybe halfway there, they're like maybe a few islands away, they would then come up an island. Now this island would be none other than the land of the waves. Now once they would get there, they would rest and uh, a uh, old man uh, and her do his daughter would help you know uh, shelter them for the few nights they were there. Since they needed to rest, they were probably running for a few hours or almost like half a half the day. So once they would get there, uh, they said you know um, since we're sheltering you, could you do us a few favors and. Um, you know, so they pretty much called Naruto like Lord Beerus, since that was his like nickname throughout the, um, the nations. Now, pretty much uh, Naruto would obviously, um, you know, accept this since uh, he was kind of bored and he hasn't fought anyone in a while, and he assumes that they need to, uh, you know, they need him to deal with like some mob or something like that. And he was precisely right. So, um, Tazuna would say, "Well, let's rest for now, and tomorrow." Uh, I'll explain it to you. So Naruto and Whis would pretty much, uh, you know, uh, retire for the night. And once he would wake up the next morning, he would help Tazuna like um, do with, like chore work. And it's not like the usual chore work we do now. It's like you know, outside and all. You know, I don't really know the exact terms with it. Y'all, you know, you get the meaning, I guess. So for the next like two hours, uh, he and Whis would help with all the chore work. And Kakashi would go around the village looking for info, and pretty much while well, they're you know um, like uh, shoveling dirt to basically help uh, you know f vegetables and fruits grow. Not fruits. I don't think fruits actually grow from the ground. Maybe a few fruits, but mostly vegetables. Now, pretty much while he was like uh, shoveling, he would ask Tazuna, um, "Why is like the village so poor?" I I read stories about how uh, you know. This land was quite uh, infamous for its natural resources, and Tazuna would explain to them that a, uh, a corporation, an incorporation, uh, came and pretty much occupied the land by taking their resources, which is mainly the reason what I was about to ask you for help. And uh, pretty much Naruto would be like, "I'm listening," and Tazuna would explain that uh, this man named Gato. Would, you know, came with his army of uh, goons and mobsters and pretty much um, took over the village. And they pretty much cut off any ties between the Mist Village and the Land of the Waves getting, you know, resources. So they couldn't get any resources from the Land of the Waves, um, I mean, the Mist Village. And due to the revolution, you know, it's not like the Mist Village will actually help him. And they had to become self reliant. So they declared their independence, but in some way they were still occupied in a sense. So, you know, Tazuna would explain this to Naruto, and Naruto would had a good plan. If he were to start from, you know, Land of the Waves, get all the people to basically rally behind him, he can go from the Land of the Waves, take over the land, the Mist Village, and then completely 
overthrow the ruler at a figurehead, then they would control one nation out of all the five. If they would take one nation and then uh, combine that with the Hidden Leaf Village, they can then pressure the Sand Village into joining them. The Sand Village to the Stone Village all the way to the Cloud Village, just like I said in part one. So it was, you know, uh, Naruto was thinking like the God of Destruction, of course. But he did also have to, you know, unfortunately, I mean, or fortunately, he would still have to Hawkeye a few uh, cities and villages away from existence. You know, just like per usual, that is his job. So, after, ta you know, Naruto and Whis would get the work done, they would eat, um, you know, tsunami food. And to be honest, they, they liked it. Like, it was pretty good. Uh, and I don't, I don't know why Rogue, he's like, he calls her Tazumi. I mean, a lot of people always correct him in the comments. I mean, he can call her whatever she wants. I mean, he wants my bad. Oh, and hopefully people, like, don't get on me for this. But basically, I mean, it is what it is. She's, like, a filler character. She, I don't even think she's, like, shown after that arc. So, Tsunami would pretty much um, make lunch. And, you know, Beerus and Whis would offer to help build. Since Whis, um, if you guys saw in, like, the 6th and 7th Universe Tournament arc, you see like Luis and Vados helped create the arena or Vados did most of it but then a few minutes later Luis helped her and they completely upgraded the arena so pretty much um Luis would help uh, Tazuna uh, you know build and th you know Tazuna would be forever grateful to Luis since uh you know and um Luis wouldn't really say much he just you know you know how he says he'll do anything for like pretty good food like I, like the propaganda in dragon ball is unbelievable like they'll show you sh like characters shoving their you know face with food just to get you hungry like they really down bad for you to be hungry but uh yeah it's also the same thing in naruto fairy tale well that's why i like bleach they don't constantly show characters eating food you know they don't use propaganda and yet it's still a good show but before i go on uh, any uh anime like wars or something like that i'm just gonna continue with the what if now Whis would help uh tazana build like some part of the bridge before um you know night would come along now naruto would kind of have an idea since he needs to gain the trust of the people so he would walk through the forest and he would casually kill all of most of the animals there most of the uh, not like the birds or he would kill most of the of uh, the no I can't remember, they're hordes, I think they're called, like, they're like pigs, but with horns, I can't really remember the name, then uh, he would kill, like, not kill, I don't want to say kill, like, slaughter some animals, like, mostly beef, or, like, meat-based, then he would, you know, grab some vegetables, and he would go to the main city, not the city, like, the main uh, area where all of the people, all the, the uh, homeless people gather, but they're, they, I don't really say homeless, uh, all the uh, famine uh, people are. So he'd go there, he would have this like huge uh, pots that we made, and he would just start um, cooking in general. And then he would start to like wave to all the people to come and basically, um, you know, uh, eat. And, uh, you know, East Whis would come along and he'd be like, you know, he'd be quite surprised, you know. Beerus has never done this in any other world. Somehow, in the other world, Beerus actually asked for food. He, if it wasn't good, he would literally destroy the whole planet. Like, he remembers one time he split the planet in half just for, you know, fuel um, nitpickings with the food. But now he's actually feeding people. This was definitely a turn of events. And uh, he sees that, you know, Beerus has softened. softened. And, uh, yeah. So he would, uh, you know, start laughing, just like, in, you know, not like laughing like out loud, but he would, you know, kind of do it quietly, you know, cover it with his hand. You know, you guys get that, I think. Uh, and uh, pretty much um, Beerus or Naruto would look towards, Be uh, you know, Whis, and he would see that, you know, um, <laughs> he was laughing, and he would tell, you know, the Whis to, like, shut up. And, you know, before he would just go back to his usual God of Destruction attitude. And uh, pretty much for the rest of the night, he would just be sitting there handing out um, necessities, I guess. Uh, so he wouldn't just hand out food, he would hand out money since he was quite rich. He did a lot of missions when he was a kid with Whis, and he, he definitely um, got all the riches for that. Especially for a few s ring bounties. But uh, he would also give that out. And in that whole night, he fixed like damage probably caused years. So... Pretty much once he would, uh, you know, get home, uh, Tazumi would tell him, or Nari technically, would tell him the story, or not Nari himself, but due to Nari, uh, you know, telling off Naruto, 
and you know at least having to restrain Naruto since bro the beer isn't gonna gonna uh, you know, tolerate that he is still the god of destruction and uh, pretty much Tazuna would explain uh, how uh, uh, explain the story about uh, the guy. I don't really remember his name it started with a K though but uh, he would explain how that guy was the hero of the village until he was like executed a few years back and Inari was just like this for the rest of the time he was here after this uh, Luis would you know act sympathetic since like I mean as you can see with other sad stories he, he, I mean, he wouldn't really be like Beerus but he would you know, act sympathetic. He was the more, uh, I guess, uh, understanding between the two, the duo, of course. So, pretty much, uh, you'd, you know, Lise would explain to, you know, um, Beerus that, you know, the, the faster they deal with his Ganto individual, the faster the, you know, the village would be restored back to its original state. Now, uh, pretty much the next day, Naruto and Whis would go and um, ask for information from other, you know, villagers. And due to their, due to Naruto and Whis's generosity the last night, people were very more forward about, uh, you know, where Gato's main base was. So, uh, pretty much what would happen is Naruto and, uh, you know, Whis would go there uh, to the main base. Now, I want to change things up. I want to have a few actual difficult people come in. Naruto at least would fight him. Naruto's reputation would grow further as the Lord Beerus or the God of Destruction. And he would, you know, his rank would raise to a double S rank. So what I'll be implementing is a f I'm going to have two Akatsuki members actually be in the group as Zabuza. So it would be Kisame and, uh, you know, Itachi. Now, Itachi is not really going to be there. Like... You know, I'll just continue the story, but uh, it'll just mainly be Zabuza and Kisame. Haku would be on the sidelines, you know, fighting a few, fighting with Whis or something like that. But Itachi's not really going to be in the picture here since I can't really have them meet. Uh, since it kind of it feels weird to add, implement Itachi uh, unless it's in Shippuden. Now, pretty much you would head over to the main base. Let's just say. Itachi was um, heading over to the Uchiha hideout and he said he would be back in a few days. So, yeah, let's just say when he gets back, uh, you know, the whole incorporation will be derailed. Now, Naruto and Whis would walk through the pathway to the main base and they would see it was a whole uh, fortress. They would see towers with guards and then they would see um, fortified barriers and more defense mechanisms. Now, pretty much, Naruto would, like, you know, ask Whis to look around and count how many people they are. Now, pretty much what would happen is Whis would maybe take a few seconds to uh, disappear, you know, teleport around the, you know, fortress to count how many um, members there are there. Before he would come back and say, Lord Beerus, there's about 247 mobsters, including uh, Kisame Hoshigaki, Zabza Momochi, and Haku, who is, and uh, pretends to be a... Uh, Mistrack and Ninja, as from the other reports I read when I when we first came here. So, Naruto would be like, "Good, good job, Whis," and he would reach in his pocket and he would hand one of uh, you know Whis's favorite treats. And he was like, "Oh, you know, thank you, Lord Beerus." Before Naruto would then walk through, he would then you know say Hakai before the the you know fortified base you know f with the chakra barrier and the uh, barbed wire would then disappear. Now, people like the guards there would be like, how the fuck did that just disappear? No chakra attack would actually hit that. So, they would think it was just some natural attack, I guess. And they would look towards where the attack was launched from or you know, in that general area and nobody was there. Now, pretty much what would happen is Naruto would appear one member of the guard towers, the tower guard. And he would then uh, Hakai him away. And I couldn't even hear his screams. Like, it, when he was disappearing... He couldn't even talk. Like that was just how uh, powerful Naruto's uh, aura was. So Naruto would then take a few deep breaths before uh, implementing his technique, almost as if uh, surrounding his body with nothing but Hawkeye. He would then go through the whole base before punching them and erasing them. Now we'll switch over to a, um, a shark-like man with uh, a cloak with you know a black cloak with red clouds on it. Now, he had noticed the guards had not, you know, checked in for about an hour, so he would have gotten a little bit worried that, you know, someone attacked before he would go upstairs and 
the first thing you would see is all the nothing. There was literally nothing since Naruto used Hawkeye on most of the guards there, so there was nothing for him to see. So he wouldn't look around until a, 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 a interesting uh, blue skinned man with a ring without, uh, around his uh, like neck area, and he would hold the staff, which would also have a ring around it. And he would look exactly like him in skin tone, but he wouldn't have the fins and all. And pretty much, um, which would say, oh, you seem to be uh, an obstacle in our you know, path. Before, you know, Kisame would, uh, you know, reach out to Samahade and go to swing at him, but Whis would look at him before, before like, Kisame's hand would stop. And for some reason, Samahade got scared. Like, he just jumped out of, uh, you know, Beerus's hand and went to, like, uh, Whis. Now, Whis would examine the sword and say, seems this thing is like a living, uh, type of sword. Interesting. I've never seen this type of item in, uh, out of all the 11 universes back home. He would then, uh, you know, gently put it down and, you know, pat its head. And he would then, uh, aim his staff towards you know, Kisame before pretty much erasing him from existence. Now Zabaza and Haku would then come out with Zabaza having his, uh, executioner blade ready. Now Naruto would appear in front of, you know, Zabaza. He would then stab him through the chest and kind of how, like, Goku Black stabbed Vegeta. It formed a sword on the other side of the wound. That's something that's would happen in it. That's what would happen. A sword would form on the other side, basically greatly increasing the damage done to, uh, you know, uh, Zabaza. And pretty much Haku would then, you know, use her demonic ice mirror to try to trap Naruto and start and peak his speeds up to throw his attacks. But Whis would be like, nah. He would then form a barrier in between all the ice attacks. It'd be like a ice proof uh, barrier in a sense. And uh, Naruto would just finish off Zabuza. He would then uh, ask Beast to you know, put down the barrier before grabbing his sword and just throwing it. Now the sword, what would happen is he would control it with just his key in general, his god key, before it would start spinning around the ice mirror jutsu, like taking down every one of her ice mirror clones before it would then split her in half. Or him. I mean, I don't really care. It's him, though. Uh, now, all the ice mirrors would break due to his, you know, Haku being split in half. And he would then, you know, Naruto would look down on Haku. And Haku would then have a few deep breaths before saying, Yeah, Lord Beerus. And after Haku mentioned this, he would then go breathless. And, um, yeah, this just confirmed that Haku is now officially dead. Now, Naruto would Hakai his body away from existence before he and Whis would walk through care, you know, carelessly throughout the corridors. Now, once they would make it to like the basement area of the uh, the fortress, they would then open the door and they would see you know um, Gato just sitting in the throne of just gold and other beautiful uh, jewelry, and he would have a lot of jewelry on himself, his clothes, everything would be quite royal in a sense. And uh, pretty much Naruto would say, ah, so you, you are Gato, right? And uh, pretty much he would say, yeah, well, what's it to you, weaklings? And pretty much um, Naruto would say, uh, nothing much, before he would uh, then appear behind Gato, grabbing his head. He would say, so we're weaklings, right? So if we were weaklings, you know, that would, you know, demand a serious question. What are you? Ah, you don't have to answer that. Suddenly, uh, Gato would then scream as he was, you know, you know, he disappeared from the existence of the universe itself. Then Naruto would then grab one of the, uh, uh, one of this gold bracelet and he would put it on his, uh, wrist. And then he would put it on his arm, just like, you know, Beerus's current, uh, fit. You know, in canon. So he would then, you know, put on the jewelry attire before he would then see some, uh, you know, luxury clothes as he would put on. And this would pretty much make um, you know, Beerus's outfit. Now they would then uh, get a um, scroll, like a huge scroll, and they would seal all the money in it. And they would pretty much seal it, and then they would make another one. So half of it, like that one scroll they would keep for themselves, and the other they would give to the village. So let's just say Gato had about, let's say, five billion dollars. Like, that's a lot. I mean, he was an incorporation. Corporations make that, like, in one month. Not even one month. At the most, one month. So Naruto would probably, you know, like I said, 50%. That'd be around two and a half million. 
billion I'm sorry and uh, I don't know how that is in yet I should probably after this video uh, search that up so pretty much they would then you know uh, take the scroll and go over to Tazana's house now once they would pretty much get there they would you know uh, knock on the door as you know, Tazana would answer and you would hand Tazana a scroll before they would go into the living room and Inari would be there and a tsunami would be there and you know, um, you know, Tazana would carefully open the scroll, not knowing what it is. And once he would open it, he would tap the middle before he would put his hand away. Now the scroll would start lighting up. Uh, it's open, and it would open, causing like a huge like smoke to appear. And once the smoke would clear, there would just be nothing but jewelry, jewelry, and money, and uh, how I, uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, okay, so it'd be like documents that check some money, pretty much, or there'd be like uh. Barra bonds or something like that. That's what I, that was a word I was looking for. Other um, sources of income. It wasn't just money like cash or coins. It was many forms of income. So they, you know, he would just start to look at it, and you would think if the village had this, they would probably maybe become a village. And if Naruto or someone else, like a powerful leader, would lead them, they could probably become a great village nation. Now, is you know, you know Tazuna would get on his knees and pretty much thank Naruto. Mm -hmm. Uh, even like implementing his you know nickname Lord Beerus and Naruto would look down and he would you know uh, he would, uh, What's the word? Uh, he would then release like a drone. He says, it wasn't that bad. You know it was in our personal interest So I wasn't doing it for you. He would then you know turn around and uh, we would, you know in his mind would think uh, You know uh, Naruto has definitely grown from the you know the lazy god of destruction now uh, he would be, you know, canceled out from his thoughts as Beerus or Naruto would call Whis, say, Whis, let's go, you know, let's go before I get tired. I'm not trying to take another nap for a thousand years. And he says, I'm coming, Lord Beerus. And pretty much they would head out. Now, they would leave the village. Uh, of course, the bridge being built and the economy being restored to original, not even its original, but a completely better state than per usual. Now, they would then go and continue on their journey and they would then uh, see a man from you know village you know the land of waves and they, he would offer them to basically take them on a boat ride now we would you know uh, answer and pretty much accept the offer before they would go onto a boat small boats maybe like it wasn't I would say like it was huger than the sea shark like you know those small boats from GTA but you know it was pretty big on its own you know it is uh, not like the modern time so they didn't really have like advanced uh, manufacturing when it came to boats so they would get on the boats and maybe for the next two hours they would then you know proceed to go on this uh, kind of long boat ride before they would make it to the this village you know, once they pretty much get there uh, you know the man would then uh, and then express his gratitude towards uh, Naruto and Whis for freeing the land of the waves before departing. Now, Whis would wave at him, and uh, pretty much um, they would walk into the land. Now, it would be filled with nothing but uh, mist, but they can obviously see through. It's not really that hard. So, they would, you know, maybe for about 30 minutes, they would walk through until they would see a, uh, a boy and uh, many other mist ninjas that would have the, uh, the headband as well and pretty much the boy was probably uh, the son of one of the rebellions now you would see that the, uh, the mist village they weren't really happy about a, you know a rebellion so they were trying to uh, execute him in a sense so Naruto and Whis they would you know walk through and uh, you know Whis would then tap his staff uh, a few times on the ground before the Miss Village would pretty much, you know, pass out unexpectedly. Then Naruto would then walk up to the dead bodies before using Hakai and pretty much erasing them from existence. Now, pretty much, uh, we used to walk up to the boy and ask him for his name. Now, apparently, the boy didn't even have a name. That was just the current state of the Miss Village. He didn't even have a name. So, Nar uh, Naruto would pretty much think in his head and, uh, the boy reminded him very much of the uh, black-haired Saiyan back in, you know, in his universe, Goku. So he was thinking, what do I call him? Maybe I should just call him Goku. You know, that would be an interesting name. So he would then turn around and he would say, well, if you have no name, your name will actually be Goku from now on. Even though that's technically his 
I think that Goku is Goku's last name, but you know he gave him a name at least. Now, pretty much the boy would get on his knees and thank Naruto for even you know, giving or considering to give him a name, and Naruto would be like, "It was uh, it was no trouble. You know, I wasn't doing it for you." Before um, he would then turn around and uh, you know continue walking. Now. Um, Naruto's cat instincts would arise and he would start to smell something it's like blood a lot of it and he would go and for some reason they managed to walk on into the middle of a battlefield between the rebellion forces and the uh, the regime of the mist village so Naruto would then summon a sword or like a katana and Luis would you know uh, hold a spear you know uh, get him ready to use any of his attacks so they would pretty much run in it was maybe around 500 miss village uh, ninja and there was about 250 rebellion forces or uh soldiers so they would then go into the defense of the militia and Naruto so would then uh you know infuse his blade with hakai and he would swing it causing a huge arc of just god key to release from his blade uh being sent at the uh, miss village so this would cause like a uh, pretty huge explosion and that would probably take out a few hundred, like maybe 200 uh, Miss Village. Um, now the militia would see that Naruto is clearly on their side. So they would start to use combination attacks, try to pressure the Miss Village until they would win the battle, which would then be the, you know, the fact they would win the battle. Then uh, Whis would go around healing anyone since his powers can technically heal. And, you know, I always wonder if he can use temporary do-over on an, an enemy's wounds. He can temporarily go back in time on the wound and it would go back to its original state. I don't know, that's definitely just a thought there. So, Whis would go around healing the wounds and uh, pretty much the men would be quite grateful. So, they would ask uh, for Whis and, you know, uh, Naruto to basically be, you know, go see the, you know, the student to be fifth Hokage if they were to win the war. So they would, you know, obviously accept and they would head over to the uh, Miss Village camps and uh, pretty much May would then meet uh, with Naruto and uh, Whis. So uh, they would obviously, you know, hit it off uh, and they would you know, kind of become like temporary um, allies. And Naruto would kind of negotiate for the Leaf Village. So if they were to win this war and if May were to become the fifth Miss Hokage, Mizukage, they would then pretty much sign an alliance with the Leaf Village, saying that, you know, they'll support them even during times of famine. And pretty much May would agree, since, you know, with her as Mizukage, she's definitely going to influence a lot of people to uh, support their uh, regime. So, uh, you know, Naruto, you know, get out his planning board and he could explain how he can end this war in just one day. So he would then pull out the bulletin board and he would explain how um, he would ask other people how the bases work. So he would then show, they would, you know, show all the smaller bases and then they would show the huge base right in the middle, in the middle, but on the outskirts near the entrance of the uh, Mist Village. So, uh, you know, they would tell him about how that's where Yagura stays and if anyone would attack, they would almost be fighting the Three Tails himself. And, um, uh, but Machado would be like three tails. That's nothing. I literally I destroyed the nine tails into nothing, into you know nothing at, at that point. And May and everyone else would be quite surprised since the nine tails was the strongest Biju and Naruto almost talked as if he had no difficulty to raise uh, Kurama from existence. Now, pretty much Naruto would make a plan. So uh, about a few hundred soldiers would be on the sidelines um, doing combinations due to like water and lightning or fire and wind and they would completely destroy the uh, outskirts of the base then Naruto and then Hakai the whole uh, area the whole city itself he says like this was a necessary 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 yeah necessary uh, sacrifice then uh, you know, everyone would come to their, um, you know, grievances and they would have to agree with this, even though they even had some family on the resistance, or not the resistance, but like the Miss Village uh, army. So, pretty much the next morning, uh, everyone would wake up at the, you know, the, the brink of dawn and uh, pretty much um, they would then head out their tents and they would go towards the uh, Miss Village or that huge base in the Miss Village. Now, they would, everyone would have their chakra refilled. If they don't, then Whis or any healing ninja would restore it. 
Now they would pretty much get to this base and it would pretty much be the same fortified base as uh, any other like the Gato's base but it was just way huger like that huge building that Gato had there was multiple buildings of this. So um, Naruto would be the leading commander with Mei and Mei and would pretty much um, then start to use her lava style with her uh, I think it's like yeah her lava style and she would start to melt the entrance before everyone else would then uh, charge up their um, elemental attacks like fire style, majestic destroyer flame, or lightning style, it was, it, like a lightning style that would form a dragon from the sky. Not like Kieran, but it was something like that since they learned the lightning manipulation of, uh, you know, lightning. So uh, pretty much what would happen is uh, uh, all these soldiers would pretty much charge their attacks and it would go right for the edges of the base before Naruto and uh, Whis would pretty much, uh, you know, put all their key or god key or angel key. I don't even think that's a thing. I haven't really gotten that far to Dragon Ball to where they explained the angel's powers. But they would then do a sort of combination attack. Naruto would use his Hawkeye and Whis would use his own Hawkeye before they would kind of make a huge uh, orb of um, energy. And they would, you know, fall from the sky. Now, once it would fall on the sky, this would completely obliterate the whole, you know, uh, base to, you know, smithereens. Like, there was nothing there since it literally is existing it, like, I mean, erasing it from existence. So, it's like ex existence eraser. So, um, there would be, a, like, a huge crater in the middle. So, this attack managed to kill Isabu, his high-ranking lieutenants, captains, and Ambu, special Ambu. So, that was pretty impressive. They would walk through and... Uh, you know put down any other uh, ninjas that survive and uh, pretty much they would do the same with the other bases now they would go through and uh, kill any other um, you know miss ninjas that didn't join them since they literally just got the main base of the whole um, miss village and the people would be disencouraged and they would join uh, you know the rebellion forces so after Naruto and uh, Whis would pretty much one day or maybe at the most two days they would go through all of the mist village and completely um take it back or liberate it and may would be inaugurate like have her inauguration of being the uh fifth mizukage and this would be noted down as the bloodiest um uh, i guess war ever and this would probably this is why they were named the bloody mist because of Naruto's uh, influence in the war. And this is going to be their only time when they would have to actually go to the methods of actually uh, killing people like that. So, uh, yeah. After Naruto and Whis would uh, liberate the Mist Village, the Alliance would form. And uh, pretty much Naruto and uh, Whis would go back to the Leaf Village before they would retire for the night. Now, this guys will be the end of part 2 of what if Naruto was Beerus's reincarnation. Next part would really go into like the training exams. There'll be new people there for Naruto to fight. Naruto then pr be promoted soon to a you know, high ranking ninja before the time skip would happen. Then after that, it should be the ending of that series. But without further ado guys, uh, have a good night.